In this tutorial, I'm going to be using the brushes in the Groot Brushes plugin. But if you prefer, or you don't have Photoshop CC, you can use them in Adobe Photoshop's Tool Presets panel. I began with a few drops from the Drop Disco brush, but I think I'm going to move on to mess right away with the POW brush. Using the Muck Sprout brush, I'm going to add some mess to the edges. Using the Sprinkler brush, I'm going to add a little bit of spray out of the edges of that. Using the Sop and Seep brush, I'm going to add some bleed to the paper where the moisture has bled in, but the ink hasn't completely saturated. The Split Stain brush adds both spray and uh, some stain around the edges of it. Switching to the Squid Rocket brush, I'm going to add some huge splatter spray from the center. To add some directional spray from the other side, I'm going to switch to the Flick brushes. I'm going to start with Flick Tub to make some wide, uh, large streaks. Then I will go to maybe a smaller brush like Flick Flack for some smaller spray. As you can see, there are an infinite number of ways to combine the brushes to make all sorts of messes in Photoshop. Think of each brush as a piece of DNA and a big mess monster. The best way to get to know them all is just to use them. Jump in, play around with each one. You will quickly find your favorites and keep returning to them. But don't forget there are plenty of others that can create all sorts of effects. So keep exploring. 